Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be looking at the all new Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. So, I saw this at the auto show here in Utah, and it was really cool seeing the new Tacoma in person because I happened to be able to see this the same day that I saw the new Ford Ranger. I mean, these trucks are really going to be duking it out back to back. And then, I guess the other two trucks that were at the auto show that I didn't film uh, the new AT4X Canyon and then the Colorado ZR2, which will also be competing in this segment. So, it'll be really interesting to see which of these trucks kind of, you know, wins out in these segment. But yeah, this video is going to be about the Tacoma TRD Pro. And then as always, before we get in the video, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So let's take a look at the new Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. So the TRD Pro is powered by a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder Predo hybrid system, 326 horsepower, 465 pound feet of torque. The standard Tacoma engine is just that 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder, and that puts out 270 horsepower and then 310 pound feet of torque. So crazy. 310 to 465 for the torque, depending if you go hybrid or not. And you guys can see this has a lot of elements from the Tundra and Sequoia TRD Pro. So like the Toyota logo there on the front end, you've got the light bar, you've got the fog lights, which are actually rigid lights. Interesting that they're so low on the uh, bumper there. And you got the TRD skid plate there at the bottom as well, which always looks cool. I, I'm, I've always been a fan of the kind of like the TRD Pro style, but I will say I'm a little bit disappointed with how they've done some stuff on the front bumper, but overall I think it looks it looks good. Just it's not as off-road appearancey as you'd think, uh, just on the bottom portion. And speaking of not off-road appearancey, I hope these aren't the tires that are on the TRD Pro. <laughs> I hope they aren't. They've got decent sidewall, but the tread pattern. I mean, again, I will withhold judgment until I take one of these off-road and see how these tires perform. But look at that. You actually have less uh, sidewall because they went from 16-inch wheels to 18 inch wheels on the tires, but still a good sidewall. You can see the TRD suspension, still using Fox shocks, it looks like. And I, still a cool look. I've always been a fan of the uh, TRD Pro suspension. I think it drives really well. And then notice TRD Pro that on the badge. And then the fender flares are painted. Looks good, but I'm wondering how that's gonna hold up with off-roading, because that seems like, I mean, you can see it's scratched really bad because of the auto show people, you know, going up, brushed against the truck and everything. So yeah, and then this has the cool new seats, which apparently are supposed to make off-roading more comfortable because of the adjustments and everything. And the interior looks very similar, like a miniature version basically of the new Tundra and Sequoia. I mean, look at the shifter, for example. So again, I would say job well done with that. I like the new interior theme, especially like Tierty there on the steering wheel. I think that looks so cool. So they've, they've made the Tierty Pro just cooler from that perspective. And interesting, the cab looks kind of smaller. I'm not sure if this, if you can get like a, I thought that they were only gonna do like the bigger cab, but maybe that's just the cab size. I don't know. Uh, most mid-size pickup trucks are pretty similar. I mean, looking in here, yeah, it doesn't look like you have a ton of leg room back there. It's cool to see the back of the seats though. I think those seats, pretty cool overall. And then you, again, you got the Fox shocks here on the rear, but we have a new uh, multi-link setup. And I think that's going to definitely differentiate this from some of the other, you know, off-road mid-size pickup trucks. Again, the Ford Ranger, I'm pretty sure has multi-link with the Raptor version, but you know, the Colorado Canyon, Nissan Frontier, all those have leaf springs. So here's kind of a better look. I think I yeah, increased the brightness here so you guys can see the setup. So just like the Tundra, it'll be interesting to see the payload. I mean, the Tacoma never had a ton of payload anyways. So I don't think the multi-link is going to be as big of an issue, uh, but we'll see. I thought the recovery points were very interesting, but at least it has it, unlike the Tundra and the Sequoia. At least we've got easily accessible recovery points. And then you got your iForce Max badge again, to, you know, it's the hybrid. Taillights are kind of like a mini Tundra taillight because it's just two instead of three. And then it looks like this one has the composite bed and you got the outlet in the bed. So everything's just like Tundra, but miniaturized, which again, I don't think that's a bad thing because that's kind of what the Tacoma is supposed to be. And then notice ARB for the bumper. I thought that was interesting. Uh, looks like Toyota's really working with them. Uh, and then you can see the TRD exhaust there poking out the side. Uh, low hanging fruit, right, to smack while you're off-roading. So it looks cool though. It looks cool, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, here's the little, this is just a little thing that tells you a couple things about the Tacoma. Let me know you guys think about the new Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. I'm excited to fully test one out, uh, but it'll be interesting. 